Do you know who the king of late night is? The king of late night. Jimmy Kimmel. No. Nope. David Letterman. No. Nope. Wait, is this like a historical question? Like now? Now. Oh, uh, I have no idea. Uh, Sneeko? No. S- Stephen Colbert? Colbert? No. Uh-huh. The king of late Aiden night. Aiden Ross? Who, is who it does that guy that does night? the music? The... Chelsea Handler? Nope. <clears throat> Certainly not Who's her. the skinny guy that, that's kind of musically oriented? He does the lip sync. Oh, Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, yeah. Him? Nope. How, what other late night people are there? Gutfield over on Fox News. He really? blows them all out of the water. The guy who oh, advertised oh. on the Super Bowl with the dog and that one guy in the crowd be, being like, is this cultural appropriation? And, and then they're like, ah, these commercials are expensive. Let's, let's get the fuck out of here. Because it was like a, they did like two 15 second spots no, that are should. like super rushed and like kind of silly. Like they're making a mm-hmm. joke of them not being able to afford more than that because it's. They were expensive. They always are. So right? what is Greg Gutfeld's show? It's like a news like late politi- night? It, mm. Yeah, it's like late night kind of. Uh, it, it's funny, and it's definitely more conservative because it's on Fox News. Um, he has guests on there, and they're kind of silly, and it's more of a round table thing. I like him. Hmm. I've been, yeah, I always watched him on... My grandparents' I, house. I always watched him on The Five. You ever watched that show? Like, yeah, like no. where they got like a whole group of guys. I am late so nights. far behind the Fox lore. I'm not okay. up with it. You watch I know. Fox News at all? It's the biggest news. I, I don't watch. It. I, I see it on at my at my grandparents' house when I go there, mm-hmm. and it's just like, oh, this is why I don't watch the, this. You don't <laughs> this like learning the truth the, about your country, huh? It, 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 is that it? Yeah, it's, I mean, Fox, a real Fox just hits you with Tucker, such a truth Tucker Carlson hammer. Believes every word that he delivers to us. I read those text messages. Okay, he believes in everything he says. No, you know what? I don't. I like Hannity. Oh. I actually do. Like, <laughs> you, you know, Hannity was in. Uh, what's no, I love the Hannity. Caprice? He's my favorite. What, sem- seminary. He was in seminary. Did you know that? And he dropped no. out. Well, I mean, honestly, sounds right. Good decision. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. No, you, those guys you definitely uh, make more I, money. I, Woody was texting us uh, at some point, saying that their text messages or, or their emails perhaps revealed that they were uh, much more liberal than their uh, their shows Ooh. would suggest or their personas That's would suggest. Not How'd they leak? Said, but... Oh. I told you. Uh, what, what's what's the case? Or did we confirm? Well, what I said was they sound like MSNBC because behind the scenes they seem to hate Trump and they don't believe the election lie stories. I didn't think they were liberal in their belief system. Those they beliefs just, are liberal, though. I guess is what I was saying. That they, they help. Oh, okay. No. I, so, for example, I think they're for small government. I think that, but they also think that Trump is full of shit. They think that Trump lied about the election. They think. Oh, everybody knows that. Oh, well, I'm fine yeah, with that. Yeah, yeah, that that's yeah. actually the small potatoes because. Look, no. everybody, you got to stand behind the boss, even when he's lying, right? Like, like in in any relationship, right? Like, like yeah. I bet here here's a little scenario, right? You're in a parking lot, your wife backs into somebody. It's technically her fault, but because yeah. of the, you know, there's only one of him and there's two of you. You go, no, we weren't even in motion. She had come to a complete stop, and then the impact happened. Which is it, sir? And Biden stole the election. Did your you wife hit him? Or did you bookend it with that? <laughs> I hear what you're saying. No, I think you know I mean? to me. You're gonna back really, her up. You're gonna be me, like, first of sure. all, he was slurring his words. <laughs> <laughs> first of all, he got out of the car and he said, There's nothing I hate more than cops. I thought you should know. So, like yeah. Tucker Carlson hates Trump, right? And I and I know that because he said that he hates Trump passionately, right? That um Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity, Laura Ingram. None of them believed that Trump won the election. And I know that because they said that in their text messages. Sure. Taylor asked how it came out. They're being sued by Dominion. And during Discovery, they were able oh, to subpoena yeah. the text messages and find out that they have a group chat via text where they shit on Trump and his obvious lies all the time. <laughs> they were saying Giuliani is a nut, that Sidney Powell is a liar, and you know that these guys are just not credible. Mm-hmm. While they go on TV all and true. say that they are credible, that they do believe them, that they're big questions people are asking and justifiably so. Well, they know that's not true. What's their response like from uh, the the, Fox News has not covered it at all. Complete silence. They can't talk. Uh, There's one guy uh, on Fox who does a show about the media, right? Where he like tries to badmouth up people who are lying, people who are caught in problems, Mm -hmm. etc. And he for one second, he's like, people want me to talk about what's happening here at Fox News. And I'm not allowed. That's all Fox News has covered it at I'm all. I'm sure. Well, then yeah. they then they it's definitely very know it was part reflect of so that badly. whole Dominion case, though. Like, like, like I I think we shouldn't judge jump to the judgment and say that they're not oh. willing to shit on their own uh, uh, doorstep until 
because because of the nature of the legal thing. I hate that when someone's being like railroaded or whatever, and they're like, he hasn't had, yeah. he doesn't have anything to say, and it's like his yeah. lawyer had yeah. that he is paying an enormous amount of money has told him, you don't say anything to anyone. Let me do my job, like mm-hmm. like, and, and and what are you gonna do? So I, I think I bet that's happening to some. Do you extent. guys think that? But like I love pride- that that's true oh. about them that they at least know that because that's reality. What you said basically was they admitted to reality. <laughs> yes, but then they lied to their viewers. Yeah, well, yeah. You're holding. What were you? Well, yeah. What were you saying, Dick? They're yeah, selling sorry. ads. Uh, do you think that like a a private company when they're working at the behest of the government? should be able to sue people uh, for speaking out against them. Like you can say whatever you want about anybody in the government, right? The first amendment, Mm -hmm. but then Mm -hmm. the government, the government hires a company to run voting, which like the government is supposed to do. That's like what States they have, they have to control. So isn't it kind of like a workaround to hire a company and then say, okay, they're doing the voting. And then if you, if anybody criticizes them, they're suing you. I think the Doesn't company has a, a good fucked? case. Well, what's going to happen is the company is going to lose the government contract if the public loses faith in them. So they're yeah. like, dude, these guys did a billion dollars of damage to us. Our whole company is sunk because Fox News lied about us. But I think, yeah. that, but I think that they're fr- like, I think the Dominion uh, shit is like the is they're all fraud. Like all their machines are bogus. All the the software of like it, you can't prove it is totally bullshit. And anybody saying that gets sued. It, it seems a little fucked up to me. Like the government can just uh, assign these these essential services. Like, what if they did that to cops? They just said, "Okay, all policing is being done by the Pinkertons, and if you say anything about them, they can sue you." That would be very bad, right? Well, you have oh, yeah. to prove that you're knowingly telling lies, which is what they're doing right now. There's a defamation case where. Tucker Carlson, Laura Ingram, Laura Ingram, Sean Hannity, all knowingly lied, right? They're yeah. saying that these Dominion voting machines were fake, that Hugo Chavez came back from yeah. the dead and rigged it. Sure. And they said something about uh, Italian satellites changing the votes and all that, like just outright super bullshit. Yeah. And because of that, that outright, but half the cover, half the country believes fox news right what fox news has done is years over years is just pound into their viewers head that you can't trust those other people the other side we're the ones yeah. telling you the truth don't believe the other side and they don't even watch the other side they don't even hear the other side because they believe fox news is the only place that gives them the truth and then they blast dominion basically trying to put the company out of business and they do have a good suit on their hands, it seems, because they knowingly lied in an effort to destroy Dominion. I think they lost the election uh, for themselves, too, because so much, so much of the right is like, I ain't voting. They don't even count our votes. It's like, yeah. Or look, don't mail in vote. Right. That hurt them. They would have had I mean, better turnout. Yeah, I'll show the have... libs by losing every election. Like, yeah, like, that ain't going to do it. You know, I guess I'm, what I'm asking is. Are you okay with the government taking essential services, giving them to a private company, and then when anybody criti- criticizes the private company, the private company sues them because, like, well, you're going to make us lose this contract. It's like, well, yeah, but we, you're providing like, es- yeah, it's, it's essential it's government fair. services. Oh, uh, I don't know. It 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 seems fair to me because uh, Fox seems News fair to me too. It, it, even based on those messages, it seems like there was a clear conspiracy. Um, to to take out this this company, and regardless of whether it's true or not in reality that there's something funky about those voting machines, the parties who are conspiring don't believe there is. So, so th- they are conspiring. They are conspiring with the uh, belief that they are lying, that they are misleading yeah. people. So reality is irrelevant. That what they've done is terrible. Tucker Carlson, Ah. knowing he's like, look, our stock price is going down. We're going to lose viewers to Newsmax and what's the other one? One America, something like that. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to lose viewers to them. Our stock price is going down. Don't fact check me. Let me tell my lies. And it's like, oh, my gosh, you are knowingly lying with a profit motive, pretending your news. Tucker Carlson has successfully argued in That's court all news. that no one would take. Yeah, not like that. Tucker Carlson has knowingly argued in court that no reasonable people person would believe he's telling the truth. That is all satire. And he won yeah. with that argument. He's a liar. And I, it just needs to be out there a little more that this isn't news. People use Tucker Carlson to get informed he's about kind of a current performance events. Artist. 
You know, when I watch, I'm like, oh, I like it. It's it's like a mean YouTube show. Yeah. It's like, like I don't take it as like facts or like yeah or, or like entertainment. people do. I don't. I watch him every article. day. I hardly miss a Tucker episode. And so would you say really? that all journalism, like everyone, should not trust anything that someone tells them on TV? That's fair, right? I I don't believe I don't believe much of anything anymore, and I often yeah. like believe that there's more going on. Um, like right. I thought it was weird how everybody piled on Kanye to to that extent. Like mm. I didn't like what he said either, but but it was like wild how coordinated it almost seemed. That every it's it crazy. was like it was like somebody had like a group call with a lot of powerful people. Like like yeah. it only took one call. You know what I mean? Like That's you didn't how I have feel to, about yeah. train it didn't have to spread through like word of mouth and like <laughs> it, it wasn't like oh yeah this little sector of his life changed and then I guess somebody over here heard about it no it was like instantly everything Boom. gone yeah they debanked you know he's trying to he doesn't know what to do with his money he's trying to he's trying to buy his own bank right now he's like it's gonna run me about fifty million but you know I gotta I, I'm gonna get my own bank oh man <laughs> it's not gonna help bud it's not I have no idea how that worked wait you I don't there? either. I don't Banks? know shit about oh, owning yeah. a goddamn I mean, bank. Um, so, uh, like, you, I don't know if you guys remember the, that I made that pre- Patreon clone like a long time ago. Okay, new project too. Uh, just to try to take like ownership of your of your uh, content creation business, like away from banks. But I was slowly and immediately um, taken off of every bank in America, like Chase Bank of America. Uh, Wells Fargo, every every bank I applied for a, a, a credit card processing and a business account with, they would just immediately shut me out for wow. for no reason. Like they didn't like the looks of the business going through like this gigantic like underwriter approval process and they would immediately turn it off. Can I pause you there? Uh, so yeah, literally, if you walked into the bank and tried to open up a passbook account, something 13 year old kids can do, you'd get denied. Uh, no, I, they would let me set up a business account Mm -hmm. and they would let me set up a merchant account and they would let me get walked through it and negotiate like interchange rates for credit cards, which is like uh, one point, whatever, an eight cents a a transaction. And then day one or day two, they would kill the account. They would call, uh, authorized.net or, Elevon and uh, wipe out my account every single fucking time. So I mm. I could not set up a Patreon alternative for people to use that was just like free. That was like free speech. Say whatever you want. I don't care what you say. Um, hmm. If if there's a problem with it, um, take it to court, and then the court will tell me to take you off. So for like the last two years after that, uh. I created me and a bunch of guys created a version of this like recurring monthly payment on the blockchain such that it cannot be turned off. Uh, if if the government, if whomever came to my house and put a gun to my head and said, turn this like system off, turn this account off. I can't do it like that was the that was the prime directive of the. What if I cut started cutting you? Can't do it <laughs> still. Even what, then, what if, if like, I dick, what if, can't do it. What if I took you and, and a loved one <laughs> and I strapped you to chairs facing one another in your in your in your night clothes and I and I put mirrors all around both of you so you couldn't look away from what I was yeah. doing. It depends which loved one. Uh, <laughs> I Some can't do it. Way. I can't I still can't do it. No, it's shit. Uh, the, well, <laughs> you got me. The war <laughs> like the war between got. <laughs> traditional finance and web-free finance is 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 very interesting and it's uh it's developing under our feed um, how is like backed by going sorry i jumped in a little it's late slow there. it's slow because it's like um people have to buy into crypto to some degree like there's, yeah yeah that's there's scary stable now. It, it it's very scary now um there are stable coins where the token is worth a dollar no matter what exactly and the company that owns it, BlackRock, owns basically the government and basically <laughs> most of the United States. Like USDC yeah. is as good as money, but still getting people to to sign up is still. Um, yeah, that's still, the way uh, to go. That's um, I know people that do that with poker to like make sure that the pot stays right and nobody skates on yeah. their their their, uh, their tab. Um, they use the various dollar coins that are just always the equivalent of dollars. So it's safe to put them in and out. It, I think you just run into some transaction fees perhaps then. 
Um, yeah. I'll, if, if I always just get somebody to stake me and be like, you know, just pay them back through PayPal or something. Cause I don't like fucking with crypto. I think I'm, yeah, I always get them to turn, turn it back into money. Yeah. Yeah. Eventually I mean, what I'm telling you is we don't need money. We can just use these stupid tokens. <laughs> Eventually, maybe we can go entirely token based economy. Yeah. Like Chuck E. Cheese. I want a, one of those universal uh, basic incomes. I think everybody should uh, should just get a check. For how much? Um, I you know, it depends on the person, right? <laughs> well, we take all the all the money we're given to every any other country in the world, we take it back and we give it to all of well, us. Well, that's silly. Then all sorts of like supply chains and foreign governments and ports go unattended, unsecured, and uh, all. Th- then who know? Then who's then who's making sure that some radium doesn't go in our food supply, or or some explosion doesn't happen on some dock that's vital to our military? I, I think it's to good to like keep our week. fingers in a lot of pies. That's what China's been doing for their their like fifty year plan, their twenty fifty domination plan is a big part of it is investing a trillion dollars in fucking Africa and infrastructure and making those cocks making everybody in Africa owe them yen forever. Yeah. Not, it's, it's not yen, is it? It's um, dongs. Dongs. Is it R&D? Dongs? <laughs> I, I wish it was dongs. Right. Dongs is Africa Vietnam. sucks. Fuck yeah. Africa and fuck China. Let them go <laughs> dump money into Africa. I don't yeah. think the money comes from. I'm not going to vacation there. Find yeah, people who have them. more than one job and take their money. Oh, f- no, that's that's no, counterproductive. That's work. immoral. Mm, yeah, you just sound like someone with two jobs. Oh, take, I think you need to take pe- from oh, people with extremely ridiculous hobbies. <laughs> <laughs> from hobbies that spit in God's face. <man <laughs> <laughs> uh, was never meant to fly or travel more than 30 is, miles uh, an hour. <laughs>